Hello everyone, this is James Shore with another Test Driven Development video. I'm recording this on June 17th, 2012, picking up right where we left off in the last episode. And what we've been working on is seeing if we could get rid of mocks in our application. Uh, specifically, the application model spy class is something I would like to get rid of. Um, but we're not quite there yet. There's, it's what we're, we know how to get rid of this method. Uh, the way we do that is by using the observer pattern, and, and we'll see that when we get to it. Um, but in order to get rid of the spy entirely, we also have to get rid of the save method, and that isn't quite ready to go yet. I thought it was, I stubbed it out, and it didn't work. So, uh, because we actually have uh, code there. So let's go ahead and uh, put this back the way it was. Get our test back to passing. Now the issue is that the save as dialog tests, well the save as dialog, when the save button is pushed, tells the application model to save itself. Um, and the way we test that is by mocking out that save method and then checking to see that it was called. Now we could avoid that if we talked directly to the user configuration or if we had the application model um, tell us what its last save file was. And that would be really easy to do. We actually had code to do that and I took it out. Um, so the question, I guess, is do we want the save as dialog to talk to the application model or do we want it to talk to the user configuration? And in thinking about it, I think we want it to talk to the application model. Um, it made sense for our configuration panel to talk directly to user configuration because configuration panel is about user configuration. That is what it is. The save dialog, however, is an application level concept and I really want the application model to be its model. Now in the future, if we ever get, for example, a save model, uh, then we could go with that as opposed to application model. But um, we're not there yet. I don't know that we ever will be. So to get rid of to get rid of the application model spy, our mock model in save as dialog test, we need to be able to get the information about whether or not save was called back out of application model. And that is really easy to do that information is available. Uh, it's just a matter of, and we've actually written that before, uh, it's just a matter of doing it again. So, what we wanna do is have a method for last save path. So I guess what we want that to do is start out null. And that will fail. Now it should pass.
So it's just a simple pass through. I probably over tested it, but there we go. So now in our save as dialog test, we should be able to get rid of this and replace it with just a regular application model. Um, but before we do that, we have to do something a bit ugly, which is that we have to tell the application or the user configuration um, to stub itself out. which we're also doing an application model test. So we've got to get rid of that duplication. That'll come soonish. All right. So now I think we can get rid of our application model spy. We should be able to say Um, we should be able to just pass in the regular application model. Now that's not going to work quite yet because we're counting on the mock model here. So actually this needs to come out. There. Now we've migrated this from being a mock-based test to being a um, state-based test, which is great. However, I'm going to leave this piece right here as a mock-based test because um, I can't think of a really easy way of dealing with that. Uh, and that's inserting exceptions is, is a great use of mocks. I have no problem with that. All right. So... Now, everything's working, and let's just double check this to make sure I haven't done anything dumb. Yep, everything is still working. So, yeah, I guess uh, now let's take a look at Save As Dialog. Who calls it? Application frame. Oh, and there we do want to pass the model in. Yeah, I mean, we have to pass the model in because we want to use the same model with save as dialog and application frame. So it does not actually make sense to get rid of the dependency injection. That is a feature, not a bug. All right, so we need to remove the duplication on that. Um, that's going to come up a little bit later, I think. So right now it's duplicated between application model test and save as dialog test. We'll come back to that.
And now I believe we can get rid of this. Yes, we can. That's awesome. So who's using this? Just configuration panel test. All right, so that is what we're going to do next is we're gonna modify, I think that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna modify configuration panel so that it doesn't have to, uh, doesn't have to use the mock. And the reason we have to use the mock there is because we need to know that the application model has been told to update itself but if we use the observer pattern and have our application model monitor user configuration directly, then we won't need it. And that will be the end of this cleanup, I think. Let's just take another look at our scratch pad before we get started on that. Let's see, so the constructor, I do believe we have configuration panel taking just one constructor. It is. So we wanna use but now we want to use the observer pattern between application model and user configuration. And then when we do that, we want to change configuration panel to take user configuration rather than application model. Uh, it won't need the latter. All right. You know, I think this is a good place to stop for now. I'm going to go ahead and put these up get your guys' feedback, and then we will get started on this. So this is a good place to stop, so I will stop here and see you next time. Thanks for watching.